What's going on guys, JFC here. It is Wednesday today. Is it St. Max Day? That's what we are waiting to hear. We're still not sure yet. We got the Eredivisie Tots guaranteed today also, which we will open in this video. Not that really there's much to pack. There's Javi Simons. Other than that, there's not really anything else. We're kind of still waiting on the player SBCs for Tots moments. We really haven't gotten much yet. We've got a couple leaks. If you guys know, if you watch my videos on a daily basis, there's another Tots moments card besides St. Max that's leaked that we just have not seen yet. So I don't know what they're waiting for. They, they dropped by low today. Uh, um, who I guess is just, you know, an 89 rated fodder card for most people. But some people, you know, if you want to link Simons or Gertrude, people like decent players in there that you could probably link with this card. So like he might actually be a decent, like a little link for some people in their teams. But uh, for the most part, it's just not looking like much. Now, outside of that, more gamble packs, right? 85 by five refreshes. The Air Divisi Tots player is actually worth an 84 rated squad, I believe. Yeah, an 84 rated squad, which is not bad by any means. But uh, of course, there's really just not much to pack in this. But you're giving yourself a chance to pack a Javi Simons, right? That's kind of your goal we got this pack the e divisi final which is apparently for like the esports thing or whatever it's repeatable actually once a day for the next four days so you actually can get a five another one's player pack uh once a day and you know the requirements are pretty stiff though it's 82 rated with a couple above 83s and with your best player being javi simons possibly and you know we've seen the weight on his card in the guaranteed pack it's bad right so you know you, you're not going to probably pack up in this so it's probably not worth it honestly to do this i do wonder if you can get icons in that though i do wonder if you were able to get like a croy for something like that but i'm not sure and i would doubt it but i know this toss challenge 3 came out today which uh i can't see the requirements but it was like an 81 rated squad with extremely high chem and a max nations of two so if you go to flip in here you see 82 rated cards and they're like okay well, they're not really up remember we talked about club stocking uh 82s to like 84s right there are some 82s right now that are like 10k so they were earlier at least when this sbc just dropped see like la liga spanish players right now are five six thousand coins a bundesliga german were four five thousand coins premier league english were up there Serie A Italian were up there I mean everything really so many cards that you probably would have club stocked are up huge in price that we really didn't expect but it's just why you club stock these kinds of things right yeah I'm also curious to see if because you can like complete all these by now right I think this expires like still another couple days at least which is good like you don't want people to have to like rush through and complete all these every single day to create the FOMO right we don't want that but I wonder if they'll release more today which then can maybe get us to be able to get to Kaiseido for this weekend league that would be pretty cool or the 1583 pack which you can't see but it's 1583 plus players back there or Kaiseido. So I wonder if they will release that next batch of objectives to be able to get this card. Now, this Kaiseido card does look really good, don't get me wrong. But looking at it a little bit closer, it's actually lacking a f just a couple stats maybe you would kind of want. To me, the dribbling is just good. It's not insane. Like 85 reactions for a DM is just a little bit. It's, no, it's not insane, right? 83 vision, 83 long pass, not insane. But the pace is there. Stamina 99 is always good. But 84 strength's a little low. There's a couple stats here that aren't like amazing. And I worry because he has no traits, no anything like that and maybe he won't be as good as he looks in game i'm hoping that's not the case but before you choose kaiseido make sure you like go watch like an inception player review or something like that go see what he says go watch your favorite player reviewer and see what they think before you do it because i'm not too sure he's gonna be insane but of course we have no idea of knowing that yet if you guys don't want to deal with trading at all you guys can go to the link in my description go to u7buy.com they're a fast and very very reliable coin service the five percent tax is also covered you can use my code jf FC at checkout for a 5% discount. Thank you to U7Buy for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to it. But yeah, so we finally got the Sheriff tweet about St. Max. So obviously we've known St. Max has been coming and here is more confirmation. Whenever, whenever a Sheriff tweets it out, you know it's, you know, 110% coming. And that's what we got. Now we've already been preparing for St. Max for a couple days, so we don't really have much to talk about with St. Max. But the question here is we obviously have Chuck Weze leaked as well. Now we've not seen him. He could be an objective also. And then one be an SBC, one be an objective. That's a possibility. Ability, but honestly, what seems like might happen to me is we have Ollie Watkins leaks too. We might not see St. Max until Friday for the Premier League team of the season and then see Watkins as an objective card, possibly, and Chuck Weze be kind of like the SBC either today or tomorrow still for community. I'm not too sure because we're going to get the guaranteed pack today, right? Then maybe Chuck Weze Thursday. Maybe they come out on the same day. I'm not too sure, but it seems to me like they're really waiting on player SBCs. We haven't seen as many as maybe you would think, especially with the amount leaked. We also have Paulina, who we just have not seen yet it was supposed to be a moments card you figure he would be an SBC because he's probably he's not showed up yet all these cards here besides St. Max have also showed up so I don't know what's going on with these player SBCs we have four set to come and you think maybe Watkins is for Prem uh, so then you have three in three days I don't know it's going to be interesting to see what they do here but basically we know player SBCs are on the way so well what do we do to prepare because obviously we've talked about the St. Max drop how it's probably going to make fodder rise right well other SBCs coming out is going to make player prices 
rise in general in the market you know what are we looking at here for these kinds of cards and well first when we look at the market the very first thing i notice here is javi simons being up in price gertrude being up in price birds wine being up in price uh, seeing these guys up tells me that community tots are going to rise after today when the guaranteed pack drops you might say well why would that be the case why would they go up after the fact and the reason being i think is a couple reasons one people tend to just wait to buy cards after the guaranteed pack right and then two also people will pack a burge wine right or a javi simons right and if you pack javi simons you gotta link him somewhere in your team you're gonna use him so people will probably go out and buy burge wine Tadich, or whoever they want to to link to javi simon so you get to see other cards just go up in price because more more air to tots cards are entering people's teams so javi simon's up 100k in price i actually bought a couple of him uh when i saw him rising up to about 800k i bought a couple at about 800k he was 760 yesterday so this is like kind of a little unique because obviously they're all they all share the same league right so it's a little bit easier to link them all together community tots don't share the same league they're just like you know a random miscellaneous um bunch of cards but if we go down here and look i do expect them to rise up a little bit after the guaranteed pack now people are kind of expecting it a little bit you know Ake's like 10k up to rom 10 15k up you want to quick flip this definitely because i think marquee matchups will add supply on thursday and i also think that with new tots cards coming out long-term outlooks on cards are just basically all bad so it's, it's tough to like hold on the cards for long term but having quick flips here i possibly think you could do it because we saw it today a lot and i think it won't be to the same extent but it will be a little bit up as well for the community team of the season when that guaranteed pack drops today but the only way that we see like a huge market crash off of the back of like one spc uh, basically would be only of the same maximum spc and it would have to be an extremely cheap spc right say they release it at like 400k only and it had cracked out stats with the five star skills that could actually cause a market crash but outside of that it should be fine but fodder is what we really want to talk about because it's very interesting right now we've already made a ton of coins off it if you club stocked 82s 83s 84s obviously you know it's worked out very well 83s are up double from basically what they were at their lowest which is awesome to see 82s made a ton of profit on already as well and i do think i said a couple of videos ago i think there's going to be like a huge time for fodder investing during team of the season like the high end stuff too i knew the low end stuff would do well but the high end stuff especially but it's really risky to try and know when to buy high rated fodder right now for say max because you've got thursday marking matchup supply you've got a friday huge amount of supply hitting the market for the premier league team of the season so it's much riskier than usual but what i will say is 90 the difference between 91s and 92s is just too big it really is just too big 41k to 84k it's literally double the price if st max is an 89 rated squad with a team of the season guarantee or whatever 91 rated cards are going to go up there's just almost just no way they don't same thing also team of the season cards you know if you want to invest in those a little bit 88 kudus at you know 19,000 or lower any team of the season cards you know are going to be required for spcs coming up here it's a pretty easy investment so obviously today we're going to get the uh community tots guarantee right we're probably looking at because this was 84 rated my guess is an 86 rated team possibly 85 now it's probably going to require a team of the season also which means like the rating below what's required is probably what's going to rise the most right like if it's an 86 rated squad you're probably going to see 85s rise the most if it's a team of the season requirement if it's an 85 rated squad you'll probably see 84s rise if it's an 87 rated squad you'll probably see 86s rise and all ratings will probably rise in that general area but you'll really see big jumps in that rating below right so i do think club stocking really on all this is not a bad idea despite uh us getting supply on wednesday it's a short-term hold you're gonna want to sell almost right away in my opinion but i do think it'll be very good there's definitely opportunity to make coins here it's you know ea do a very good job this year of making it more difficult than in previous years because that's their job to make it more difficult on people like uh you and me who don't want to spend fifa points every single day they hop on the game now, before we get into our shite air to visi pack here we do have a tweet from fudzone that says may 8th with a little like a uh, clock emoji hashtag ea sports fc so we might get a little teaser trailer on may 8th possibly at six days from now i think he did say in it wouldn't be till july we would see something maybe it was june but i don't think it was may if any of you guys remember let me know and i'm pretty sure it didn't say may but of course maybe ea changed the plans up but i'm excited to see what they've got in store you know the better the more info the better right because i want to get excited about the game i really really do just unfortunately um we don't know much about it and obviously there's a couple things that are a little questionable regarding eafc you know we're just gonna have to wait and see the transfer market stuff seems a little up in the air right now we don't really know what that's gonna look like yet if it's gonna be a normal transfer market or not uh the air division talks pack is not here so i'm gonna have to open it on my phone but once again uh friday stream for all these packs right here on this youtube channel so i actually did notice when i went onto my phone that i had two air division tots player packs so i have one right here that's in the store and i have one in the club that i have to go find and i don't know how i'm gonna do that but here's one one of your busy tots player pack can we get javi simons that's my only wish and uh, okay the jokes write themselves but can't expect much probably not gonna get much in that pack all right i'm gonna sort by newest here and just see what pops up let's see 
and it's Pavlidis. Okay. Well, there you go. I have started to use Javi Simons, by the way. He would have been a duplicate on that last pack, and I have used uh, Gertrude as well. Javi Simons is very good. Unfortunately, we did not get him. But let me know if you guys did manage to get uh, either Duzan and Tadich or Simons, because I've barely seen anybody get them. They seem to just be non-existent. I love you all. See you in this video very, very soon. Peace.